to another week of my life vlog. Happy Monday morning. I'm feeling great. I got up, I did my morning pages, I read a little bit. Like, that changes my morning. Um, I'm on my way to Hot Pilates, and then it's Monday morning, so I'm getting coffee with my dad after. I read all of Reminders of Him last night, Colin Hoover's latest read, which is also our book club pick. If you guys want to be on our book club, it's in the Geneva app in the book club room, and we will meet, and it's going to be like a clubhouse style meet um, mid-February. Anyways, she hasn't released a new book in over a year, and so I sat down last night. I read it in one sitting. I loved the book. Let me know what you guys thought. Personally, I really enjoyed it. I think I just needed a Colleen Hoover book. It was definitely like darker and really sad, and she said it's her most depressing book yet, which I can understand, but she has a way of writing it in a way that it feels like still a light read, and it's not like so dark it's depressing. It's just, I don't know. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Goals for the week. Pilates four times. I'm on my way now. Three long walks or 12, 3, 30. Hobby stuff. So going horseback riding. Read two books. I already finished one last night. And then six TikToks a day. Those are my goals for the week. What about you guys? I'm on my way to Pilates. Oh my gosh. The traffic is like really backed up for some reason. I need my Pilates class to open a 7 or 7.30 class because 8.30 is too late and 6 is too early. It makes me start my day at like 10.30 and I want to be starting my day at like 9. Gotta get this show on the road, you know? I'm back from my workout and coffee with my dad who went to LDU. I got the cowboy juice. It is so good. It's very, very strong. So I'll drink it slowly. Here's a mini little grocery haul. I didn't realize that this was so big. So for whatever reason, I got cookie dough. I was craving it yesterday. It's way too much. Chicken, bacon for my bacon sauerkraut hash, which I need to make again because it's so good. We have some hummus, pretzel crisp. That's my snack. Nut pods. I love nut pods like so much. Um, my cold brew, smart sweets, of course. Almond butter. I'm going to make, um, well, actually this is peanut butter but I'm gonna make um, dates with peanut butter this week. Zucchini, kale, cauliflower, avocado, um, bone broth, and then I just have some tomato paste stuff and toma crushed tomatoes. I'm making a new soup recipe tonight, which is mainly what this stuff is for. Um, but yeah, that's my grocery haul for the week. I'm gonna get ready, I need a shower, I need to just get on with my day. I'm showered, I'm ready for the day. Today I'm going to the studio to record intros ads, a solo episode. Actually, I'm currently making breakfast. I need to do some like computer stuff and whatever. I got coffee by dad this morning and we we're like running through numbers of the guy and the brand that I'm watching. I hate being an adult. Um, it is so expensive, especially when it's like literally like my own money. It just sucks. Anyways, with that being said, little update on the Okai. We have been in meetings like a lot actually recently. We have really cool stuff coming. Um, we actually got like another really good idea this morning. Our first samples are being worked on right now. So our samples for our first drop are being worked on right now. We're gonna do like monthly drops. We got the actual first samples in December, end of December, whenever I COVID. And I know that was mid December, I guess. We didn't like them. So we sent them back and gave like more specific things, learning process. And now those are supposed to be here, I think within the next four weeks. And then after that, like hopefully we can launch and just get stuff going. Our original goal was to launch in March and then it got pushed back to April and now it's potentially getting pushed back to March. March is gonna be such a busy month. Something that I'm trying to work on is just like not thinking ahead so much. Like I am a slave to my Google Calendar. I look at it and I'm like, oh my God, like March and April are so crazy packed and I'm launching a new brand and it's just like really stressful. Um, So something that I'm trying to get better at is that like, you know, stressing about stuff is not gonna help. If only it were as easy as that, you know, like, not that this is the same thing, but when people say like, oh, are you depressed, just be happy. Like, yeah, I understand that, but I'm just trying to like rewire my mind to where I don't get stressed all the time. Also, I have a very high capacity for like stuff in general, so I can do a lot of stuff. I actually do better when I'm way busier, but like honestly, even just with my day-to-day -day stuff, I'm busy all the time especially with batch recording. It's gonna be a learning curve this year, everyone. Um, but anyways, enough of business talk today. This week is gonna be like my dream week. We have a great weekend ahead, which I'm sure you guys will like see on Instagram and TikTok and stuff. Going horseback riding, lots of Pilates. I mean, I'm just, I'm really feeling this week. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This glaze, by the way, the Trader Joe's glaze, put it on your avocado toast, changes lives, okay? I've done this for years. I think that I originally got it from Tori Sterling. Okay, here's my outfit of the day. I just have this old set. It's not available anymore. This jacket, which is my chocolate brown jacket. 
I got it from ASOS. It was my last haul. The second that I start to film, she makes noise. I'm not kidding. Coco? No. I need to button it up. I really want to do that, but whatever. My Prada slippers. I'm bringing this bag. It's the best bag ever. What a good purchase. I even got it on sale. I'm heading off to the studio. I'm recording intros and ads and outros, and then I'm recording an entire solo episode that's going to be titled something like, I'm the happiest I've ever been, and I'm doing everything I was told not to do. Something like that. We're just going to chat, catch up, see where we're at. I might start doing more solo episodes just because I know you guys love them. I just batch record, and then I have too many, and then I just feel like I'm pushing it back too much and so then I don't do solos, but I definitely want to get back into like the swing of solos. We're off, I'm like randomly anxious and it's not even from that coffee because I barely had any. I don't know. Sometimes my phone just like makes me anxious. Hi guys, welcome back to the I Love You So Much podcast. I am your host, Kenzie Elizabeth. I'm sitting in my car listening to In the Chair with Justin Anderson. I know this podcast is old and he hasn't posted in like a year, but I love this podcast. I've been listening to it nonstop. He's actually coming on the show when I go to Nashville in March, which I'm very excited about. Okay, but anyways, I posted this on Instagram. I did a little favorites roundup. Guys, I've been really working hard on my Instagram. Lots of reels. I did Dallas Rex where I went in Dallas this week. Lots of book racks. If you guys ever need anything, I have this whole post. For those of you who ask me the exact same question about Kindle that I've answered a thousand times, I'm answering everything about my Kindle in here. I mean, my Instagram, look, all these Dallas racks. I'm trying really hard, everyone. I have so many reels. I mean, I just don't think I've ever done better. With that being said, Looking over at my TikTok, lots of book recs. I'm about to do a reading routine. I mean, we just have everything in here. I am so tired from literally talking to myself for two hours. I don't even know why. You know when you're like, I used to do this in college or when I was coming out from the studio or whatever, like anytime I have to like leave for work and you drive home in silence, like that is the level of I cannot talk right now. So I'm gonna make some dinner. Um, I will show you guys what I make, I'm sure, but I just can't vlog throughout it. I just can't. Also, Never too late to become a redhead. I just decided to put some leftovers on the stove. I couldn't even cook my meal that I want to make, so I'll be making that probably tomorrow or Wednesday. I have my kombucha out for the night. This is actually my favorite kombucha and my favorite kombucha like flavor. Kombucha in a wine glass with ice. I'm not a huge wine drinker, especially like during the week by myself just because it makes my face heavy for like no reason. But I love the experience, so I love kombucha in a wine glass. This is how tired I am. It is 6.23 and I am heading up to my bedroom to get ready for bed. Get a shower. I'm gonna read for a few hours. I'll probably go to bed at like 10. Oh my gosh. Guys, we need to talk. Okay, it's the next day. Obviously, it's like 1.30 now. I'm just getting around to starting the vlog. I filmed a morning routine this morning, so it's my in-depth morning routine. It will be up for this vlog, so be sure to go and check it out. I did my whole routine, I went to Pilates this morning, I got back, my normal times, and I took Fitz out. I let him run around the yard and I forgot that it was like wet kind of, but where I was standing it wasn't, so I thought it was fine, I don't know. I got back to my house and I'm like, oh wow, there's a lot of dirt on the floors right now. Like, it's kind of weird, how did I not notice that before? Because again, I didn't even think. And then, guys, this is what happens. I walk up to my room, and poor Fitz is just sitting there and I know something is off and I look at him and he lays down and his paws are like so covered in mud. So I immediately tried to clean him. I spent like 45 minutes. I go to clean and wash his paws and he then jumps on my bed with my comforter and my sheets that I just changed. So he makes a really, really big mess. His normal groomer is closed on Tuesdays, but there is a silver lining to this because I then took him, I called Pet Bar, it was the only place I could get him in, and then I realized that it was the place my dad told me to take them to, and they have a subscription service, so I pay like 60 bucks a month or something for fits alone, I don't know what I pay for Coco, and you get like four baths a month, which to put in perspective, I pay $60. I pay around that anyways for one bath for him. This is gonna be my new place. They're going every single week, all right? They're going every single week. 
So anyways, I finished filming that video. I was running a little bit behind. I did laundry, I did a bunch of stuff. It's now 1.30, I need to answer some emails, and then I'm gonna go shoot with Peyton. I'm wearing my Prada loafers. When I first got them, I wore them all the time, and then I got the Prada slippers, and I've been living in those, um, but I needed to wear like real clothes and um, you know, look cool when I'm with Peyton, so that's that. We hit 90,000 Instagram followers today, which is so crazy. I have really been upping my game, if I do say so myself. Also, we have my Breadwinning Housewife Tumblr. I think we have new merch coming in. I'm planning the shoot for next week. I'm looking for a new personal assistant in Dallas. So, I need to get some stuff done with that. But anyways, I need to... I'm doing boring a ball. Guys, I have not been able to talk all day, so I don't know what's up with that, but I'm doing boring adult things, so we'll get to that. If the toast is on yet. All right, I just put this blazer on. It's too tight around my arms with the sweater, but I want it with the photo, so these jeans are my favorite from Princess Polly. I actually just ordered a ton more from them. They're my favorite jeans. They're legit $60, and they're my favorite. This is the reality of my closet room right now. I have some clothes to put away. I have some outfits to plan. That's really just like two coats and a few other things because the coats are just so big. But this is my look for Highland Park Village today. We're gonna go, I think, to Honor Bar and just get some like appetizers or I don't know, maybe lunch, who knows. All right guys, I made it to Honor Bar. We're in the little patio area next to the fire. This is the best place to be. Cute outfit, do you wanna tell them where it's from? Okay, so the whole under here is hollow. Cute. Oh, uh, cute. Yeah, I like, love that. Yeah. I need that. This is from Nasty Gal. Super they have the cute. best outerwear, like the best trench coats. I have three in the car right now. I love outerwear. That's like all I wear. Yeah, I love that. Okay, well, Peyton just got wine. I got a margarita. We're getting fries. We're taking some photos too, so we're working, if you will. Today, I am just flustered, and I'm trying not to be. Um, fun fact about me, I've never been late in my entire life. The dogs, I told them I would be by to pick them up at five. Oh! Wow, that's a throwback. Um, I told the dogs I would be there to pick them up at, by five, or they had closed at six, whatever, and I was supposed to meet with Peyton from three to five. Payne and I were just talking for so long that it ends up being 5.45 and then I'm getting a call and I'm like, oh my god, I almost left my dogs because I thought it was like literally 4 p.m. I've never been late to anything in my life. I ended up getting there before it closed. It was really fine. I'm sure everyone's done that. Look at Fitz right now. <laughs> you look so much better than you did earlier when you were getting mud all over my bed. Yes, you do. All right, we're going home. I'm going to cook dinner. I just like literally cannot believe I, I just, I can't. Um, I'm self tanning, well, I'm putting the moisturizer on, I'm putting self tanning drops in. I love these, the Lux Unfiltered ones. They're like the best, and I honestly put on so many because the second of my face is like slightly tan, I just don't wear any makeup, and I feel so much better, I'm just more alive. But anyways, wearing a hoodie is probably not the smartest idea, but I was talking to Payne today, and about the concept of like, I, I think it takes time and like rewiring your brain to get something from like your brain like okay this sounds so cheesy but like from your brain to your heart where like you know it but you believe it literally so cheesy but i think there's a difference between knowing something and believing it and feeling it and i'm like i don't know what it is but with myself like i for whatever reason still feel like i have to stack my days hour by hour and i just commit to so many things i do so many things and especially like when I'm in Texas after I've already done like big recording weeks and things where I get a lot done at once. I'm just like trying to not like guilt myself for that anymore. And also it's like, what's the point of like being my own boss and having my own business if I'm still working in the way that like I would be, not exactly, but in the way that I would be if I was like working on salary for like someone else. I think I'm just trying to slow down a lot. Like I did the whole overworking myself for years thing. I'm in a place where I don't need to do that financially. I'm feeling a lot better. I think I love my life so much more and I know that there's a lot more to life than my job. Um, and I think before it was like, I felt this need to grow or make money or whatever, obviously to like survive. And I'm not in that position anymore. So I shouldn't be acting that way or even like 
But yeah, something I'm trying to improve on this year is not putting so many expectations on myself and also just like letting myself live. And if I like having days where I'm not booked, literally from nine to five, that is okay. Like that's actually good. Um, and what's the end point of me making this entire career and doing other things if I'm just going to like guilt myself for not working the hours of nine to five? Like I don't understand myself, but tomorrow I'm going to ride horses at three. So then I'll be off and I'm gonna enjoy time with my friends and it's gonna be a really good time. I think I'm gonna start Friday Night Lights. I've seen it like not consecutively, but I've, I know the show. I've never watched it myself like from start to finish. So I think I'm gonna start that as I'm cooking. I'm gonna make a new recipe tonight. And oh my God, I'm so excited. So The Simple Wild, which is like one of my favorite book series ever. And I've literally read all three books in three days in December. The fourth book, which one of them was a novella, so it was like 2.5, but whatever. The fourth book um, came out today. So I'm gonna start that tonight. It's gonna have a nice, relaxing time. I actually might um, wake up and work in the morning and then go to Pilates a little bit later too, now that I'm thinking about it. Basically, moral of the story is that you don't have to do what everyone else is doing, and just because it works for someone else doesn't mean it's gonna work for you, which is something I'm really working on. Um, I have a, literally my entire solo episode is basically on that next week, so. The dogs are so soft. Oh my god, I literally, look at her bow, I'm dying. Look at Fitz's, I don't know if you can see it, it's so funny. That's his favorite spot in the house. So I ended up FaceTiming my family as I was cooking, so I didn't really film much, but this is the creamy vegetable chicken soup. It was super easy from the modern proper. Um, I just put some Parmesan on mine, which I like literally never do. I was in the middle of cooking and I was on FaceTime and I was opening like a tomato, um, crushed tomatoes in a like can and it wouldn't open all the way and I like hit it and then it literally spilled. As you can see, I've changed all over me, all over my Ugg slippers, all over the floor, a little bit on Fitz after he just got a bath. So I'm actually going to be done for the night. I'm going to start my new book and I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm just going to try again tomorrow. Come here, bub. Oh my gosh. Hi. Yeah. You're so handsome. Thank you. Look at you. Oh my gosh, I love you. I love you, Fitz. I love you. Queen, it feels like I have a new dog. You're so soft. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> she looks like a Shih Tzu or something with this. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm getting ready to go on a long walk. It's really cold outside actually, so this might not be my best idea, but I used to be so put together that I would like match my socks up, and now I don't know what happened. Okay, now I'm gonna throw on, the set is set active. This hoodie is from Aritzia, it's like the teen A boyfriend like cozy, which this specific one I think is worth it because it's so soft. I always get, well I actually think in this one I got an XL. I don't know when they switch from like one through three sizing on certain things, but now I'm gonna throw on my long puffer because as we know, it is very cold. I actually might even walk to Starbucks. I'm gonna listen to the Alex Cooper and the Chamberlain podcast that released like I think last night. That's very interesting. Let me get back further. This is my outfit. All right, here's the outfit. For my morning walk, hopefully it's warm enough. I'm on my nice morning walk. It feels really good outside. It's really cold, I'm not gonna lie. I decided I'm getting Starbucks, so walking to get some coffee. I might get a little breakfast, head back. Today we're going horseback riding. I'm recording for Mood. We have a reservation at Bone House tonight. It's gonna be like a really good day. Are you kidding? Here I go. <laughs> okay guys, I'm obviously the cutest friend ever because I wore Moon merch. Um, recording for Mood, which actually will be out Thursday, like next Thursday, so it might be out. I'm so cold all of a sudden. I was freezing in the recording. And then I got up and my house was 60 degrees. So I don't know how that happened. I'm going to 
heat up some lunch. Oh my god, okay, I still have leftover bolognese. Oh! Something that I'm trying to get better at that I kind of talked about last night and I don't think I'm, I don't think I articulate what I'm saying well because it sounds like I'm like, I just don't wanna work. Um, and that's not the case. Also, you have to like work really hard in general, but I think you can also like make a life for yourself, which is something I talk about all the time. My problem is that I just expect like so much out of myself that I feel like I have to do like the most insane amount of work every single day in order to like feel successful or to be like proud of what I've done that day. And that's just not healthy. Also, you think of people who make like a lot of money in have a lot of success and whatever and a lot of them are delegating they're not working themselves to death always obviously there's a time and a place to do that really what i want it's not that i don't want to work hard it's that i don't want to keep guilting myself when i have a week that is like slower and i've literally built this career that has a lot of freedom i work a normal job like anyways so why am i comparing myself to people who are working like a more traditional job because like i just don't we just do different things so anyways, I think what I'm gonna have to do is start scheduling things. Like I have to do a horseback riding at three today and that's fine, that's okay. It doesn't mean that I'm a failure and I'm not gonna be successful and I don't work hard. I know that I work hard. So yeah, I'm not really quite there yet, but I think if I just start making myself do things, then I will end up slowly over time, my mind will catch up with me and stop guilting and shaming myself. What is wrong with you? So I'll let you all know how that it is so cold. Okay, the girls are coming over at two and then we're leaving to go horseback riding and then we're going to Bowen House tonight and I'm very excited. What a great week in Texas. I'm doing so many like Texas things. I'm unboxing this, Presley's here, Jess is here. We're gonna be horse girls today. We're having quite the afternoon. Um, but this is the stuff that I got for your birthday party. But I think I'm gonna wear the black one. It's the same one as that blue dress I wore this summer that I love so much. It's, oh wait, it's kind of really see-through. Dang oh. it. But maybe if it's dark out, you won't even be able to tell. <laughs> oh, it's a little see-through. It's really see-through. <laughs> but the blue one wasn't, honestly. Or if you wear like a black, like, um. But I would, yeah, like, but it's backless. Oh, shit. But I'm gonna wear tights. And then maybe if I wear like a black something under it. Maybe and then I'm gonna wear- to tell once it's like actually on. Yeah, maybe it'll be better, but it's really cute. <laughs> this is like the most flattering dress ever from Princess Polly. <laughs> And then I also have this in green that I wore on St. Patrick's Day. It's really bubble gum. It's one of those dresses though, when you wear it, put it on, it looks really cute. It's not like super cute online or even, I actually don't even know why I had it to begin with. Um, but it's just like a random fun dress. The pink looks really a little bit different than I thought it would, but it's really flattering. I really like it. So I think I might wear that, I don't know. We're doing a little karaoke moment for Preston's birthday. So we're off to be horse girls today. The owl is the horse girl and now it's cool. So, I don't know why these tags are here. You guys, haven't my um, flowers held up so well from? They're so pretty. I, like, that's the thing, like, I, I have like, a bunch of like, fake plants in my apartment because so I love the look of them. Yeah. But I love those real flowers, but we get to the point where we don't. All right, guys, we have made it to the ranch, Broken Bow. I mean, look at all these horses. It really looks like it's gonna be the best day of my whole life. <laughs> I've never achieved this level of inner peace of serotonin. No, literally, than when I'm at Broken Bow. <laughs> it's really something else. I have to Jess and I, Jessica and I, <laughs> I catch you myself. Um, we went horseback riding in Malibu, like probably three years ago, and my horse tried to like lay in the water. It was three years ago. Yeah, at least. Well, because Mila's four. Isn't that Gross. crazy? Literally um, so anyways, here we are, living our best lives. Presley, you're having quite the birthday week. I really am. This is just, you know. We're on the horses. All right, guys, we're back in Dallas. We're going to Bone House, which is over here. It's one of my favorite places. Conveniently, this is the back of Las Palmas, which is also one of my favorite places in Dallas. All right, well, we're going to Las Palmas. No, we're not. We're going to Bone House. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Yeah. It's really great. I went here with Peyton like two weeks ago. You guys are gonna love it. Like when you see the inside, it's 
perfect. Hello. Yeah. It smells like how cute. Hello. Seven dollar happy hour, guys. Are they serious? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I am tired. It's 8 a.m. I'm actually going to Pilates at 11:30 today. Um, I'm trying out different time blocks. So I'm going at 11:30 today and tomorrow. Not that like literally any of you care, but yesterday we had the best Starbucks coffee order. I will get it again in this vlog because it's just so good. I'm making breakfast right now. And then I just want to like bang out editing for the next few hours before I go to Pilates and then after Pilates I have therapy and then I have an event tonight. I think we're gonna get drinks or dinner or something before and then there's a new bar opening on Henderson Wonder Bar which is like more of a like I don't know if it's necessarily my vibe of a bar I think like it's more of like a touristy like Instagram photo kind of bar. It looks like it'll be fun. We'll see. We'll see what I think. I also love Henderson, and it's not touristy bars or anything like that. Anyways, making some coffee. I'm also going to make myself chug a whole thing of water before I drink coffee because I always feel better. I'm going to edit all morning, get some work done, and then go to Pilates. So I will talk to you guys in probably like three hours when I get my work done. Guys, I'm about to go in to Pilates. I am just getting so excited for this weekend. Got a lot of editing done. I still have a lot to do. So when I get back, um, I have... Ooh, I need to tell my therapist. It's gonna be virtual. I uh, wanna have therapy. And then I need to finish editing this video for Sunday, which is gonna take forever. I need to stop editing videos. I need to keep just send them to my editor, but I don't know why I wanted to edit this one. No more. It just takes up way too much time and I have way more things to do. Also, I think we're gonna go to the Fort Worth Rodeo next week, which is like chef's kiss, so exciting. Here's my outfit. I spilled coffee on it this morning, but you can like barely even tell. This is the new like Bella and Canvas line and it was basically like repellent like I, you can barely even see the coffee stains um i wasn't gonna change i was just not gonna do that i'm wearing set active my brada loafers and my puffer that i wear every day yes can i also get egg white egg bites just got out of pilates i loved the 11:30 class what a great way to break up the day this is my new starbucks order you guys can just screenshot it if you want i'm um, just showed it to me jessica showed it to me it's so good a grande iced coffee no classic two pumps sugar-free vanilla and a splash of oat milk all right i'm gonna finish the rest of my editing work day in bed it's just so cold and so cozy and i just feel more productive here right now it is Thursday night. I actually need to start getting ready probably like five minutes ago. But I have a lot of boxes I need to unbox before I do so. So you guys are getting an unboxing. Tonight I'm going to get drinks with Bria and Kate. And I actually think Joe's coming too. Vitamins, no one cares. And we are going to get drinks and then we're going to like the opening party for Wonder Bar. I ordered a replacement. What? This entire box for... You know when your house is clean and you're like a whole new person? I spent pretty much all day at my computer and nothing fun to vlog. Oh guys, I got scarves from Amazon. Um, I just wanted to see. Just, just wanted to see, you know? Okay, I can tuck this in because we're going to a Stars game tomorrow and I'm wearing all black. So I thought that like if I wore this but I like tuck it into like a puffer kind of. That could be good. I have their good scarves for the price. They're really like $15 each and this isn't like anything crazy, but it's fine. I made a Sephora order because I was out of shampoo and conditioner. Got the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. A refill of the Inky List Oak Cleansing Balm um, cleanser. And then I also got a refill of a hyaluronic acid. This stuff's $7. Just so always refill it to make sure I don't run out. Oh my God, why isn't it so big? Oh my God, having a brand new Laneige sleeping mask. Wow. I don't think I've ever had the colored kind. Love. Oh, I also got the DP Hue apple cider vinegar hair rinse, which I love this stuff. You can use this in place of shampoo, um, but it's really good. I get really bad product buildup. So when I was younger, we always do like apple cider vinegar, like hair masks and stuff from home. I love this stuff. Like obsessed. I had it in my PR drawer for so long. And then I heard them talk about it. Probably on the Skinny Confidential or something. I'm like obsessed with Justin Anderson right now. Listen to every podcast of his or that he's been on. He's actually coming on the show in March, which is exciting. But anyways, love this stuff. It is so good. I also got these heels um, as a vision for my outfit 
for Presley's birthday. So I have these heels in the like brown patent, which I love. They don't have black patent, they just have black suede right now, they're not available, but I thought these would be good for like winter anyways. Um, I'm gonna wear these in black tights and then a black dress, so. That is, that is my look. I have this huge box from Set Active. I know they sent me things to send pics from, but like, I didn't even realize how many pics I sent, oh my gosh. Oh my God, oh my God. They sent me like really nice headphones. And okay, travel must-haves, cause it's set air now. So there's a jet lag mask, a mask, Milan stuff loops. Oh my god, a mulberry silk eye mask. Eye mask. An electric equip toothbrush. I mean, they, guys, like, it's all in here, I think. Okay, wait. Set socks. This is so nice. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my god, little deodorant. Guys, this is. So good, it looked so nice of them. And then they sent me this, which by the way is like a little suitcase. Oh, yay! And these are so my picks. So, like I said earlier, I needed like the box bra, so I love those. By the way, I wear a medium. Oh my god, so cute. This will be so cute for summer. Um, I wear a medium in set, unless it's like the sporty suits, then I wear a small. Okay, I mean, look at this. Love that color, love this. I mean, oh my god. I also love sports bras with the, this cut as well. I feel like I might even need a large in top so. Um, I mean, you know, me and Chocolate Brown, I love. Like, stop. That is so good. Um, another just classic box bra, classic leggings. I mean, oh my god, they are spoiling me. And then, this is what I'm so excited for. They sent me the sporty suit in small because I have it in medium and it just doesn't fit right because it's too big. I am so excited. I'm wearing one of those things tomorrow. I just cannot get over these headphones. Like, guys, I am, oh my gosh. That is so nice. They kill their PR stuff. Like, it's just the yearbooks, the flights. I mean, oh my God. I, I think this one's my favorite though. Two more to go. Zapari, which is some of my favorite products. Organic coconut melt, and then we have a crush scrub, exfoliating crush scrub, which is awesome. This body wash is a hydrating body wash. You know how most of them actually just like dry your skin and make you feel kind of gross? This one is the best shower one. I really liked the other one I shared in my morning routine, um, but this one lasts longer. I love this one. Okay, I've not really used this, the Coconut Hydrating Body Milk, which I'm excited for. I just really trust them because they actually hydrate my skin. Like their recent like hyaluronic body products are unreal. And then I've always loved their lip products. Like they're just the best. So you really can't go wrong. You can also never have enough lip products. I switch my bags every day. So when I get these, I just, oh. I just throw them into their purses because I use them all the time. Last Amazon package. Raise your hand if you are already way behind on your vitamin subscriptions for the year and you need to cancel or pause for a month. Me. It's me. All right, y'all. I am ready for it tonight. I didn't feel like getting ready at all, so I'm wearing a very subpar outfit. Um, I'm just wearing a black shirt. I think this is actually from Aritzia. This black leather, well, like fake leather, obviously. Trench, I actually can't remember where it's from. I think like Nasty Gal or something. These pants are Revolve. By the way, it is so hard to find pants that fit, but I actually like. Like, I don't love the fit of these, but I just am like, oh, whatever. I have a lot of other jeans actually coming in tomorrow from Princess Polly that I know I like. I love their jeans randomly. I don't know, but I need like pants pants that I like. And it is so hard for me to find some that like I like the fit around the waist and then I don't know I'm just like not the biggest fan in general. Then I have my vintage Harley boots on um, Under pro tip if you don't want to wear heels just wear cowboy boots and it looks like you're dressed up Okay, and you like tried like here we go But I didn't at all. So anyways, we're gonna get drinks and then we're gonna head off to the Wonder Bar thing Bria's coming to my house right now, and then we're going to leave so I'm really excited. Um, I got lunch with Bria Last week or the week before that, she's so sweet, the coolest person. I'm sure you guys have seen her all over TikTok and Instagram, and she actually has a YouTube too. So I'll link it below if you guys are looking for more Dallas people to follow. And then obviously you guys are in no pain, so. 
I just started Friday Night Lights from the top, as we know, but I want to rewatch Nashville. It's my favorite show ever. Like, One Tree Hill and Nashville, basically, that's it. Gossip Girl. But honestly, One Tree Hill and Nashville. I'm at HG Supply with Bria. Peyton and I think Joe are actually on their way. We're sitting by the fireplace. So nice. The mules here. I'm a tequila girl through and through, but I will say they have the best mules here. The frozen mules in the summer are incredible. Strawberry smash, which is what Brie got. Cucumber smash. It feels like Miami. Like, yeah. Here, <laughs> strawberry smash. Like you could not convince me I'm not in Miami right now. So. <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Friday. Here I am, I'm wearing a new set active set. I'm throwing this coat on Coco. I get it. This coat by the way, I got it on ASOS. Oh, I wish I could just tie it. I don't like this part of it. Um, it is the softest thing. It feels like I'm wearing like the most comfortable blanket ever. I am gonna go get a pedicure and then edit and work as I'm doing that. Multitask. Okay, first I'm gonna get the dogs out and feed them because Coco will not stop. And I know that there's a one to do that. Look who it is. Vlog squad. Why do you call Kenzie, them that? Kenzie, counsel, Kenzie for council woman. <laughs> oh, I don't even think I told the vlog this yet. Guys, all right. This is some, I'm, I made a TikTok about this today. I was with Bria last night and we were walking and I was like, you know what? I need more say in this city. I need to tell you what bars can open up. I need to tell you what restaurants need to open up. Specifically in like my favorite neighborhood. And so she's like, you should run for council or like some sort of community position. And a genius idea. So I am going to be doing that. I need one that like, what's a, what's a um, way for me to get involved in the community, have some sort of power that would um, control the bars that I opened on Henderson. But I don't know. And... Uh, Lauren is kind of into running as well. We're looking into it. I've been working on my campaign all morning. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling really good about it. I think that I could win. I really think I have a shot. So if you guys think I should run, let me know. Also, this might be my rise to TikTok fame. No, it really would be. Yeah, I think it would be fun. So yeah, I just I just had to let everyone in on what's happening right now because I think this is very huge. Yes, I called Dom last night to tell her. But I got back from the bars and she, and I was like, I'm not kidding. And she goes, if I know one thing, it's that you are serious. No, so, oh, if it's one thing that I know, it's that you're serious. And then also Kenzie was wearing. Ah, anyways, I'm cutting out, but we have to run for Dallas city council. Also, who, if you think about it, I am, I'm the perfect candidate. I'm for the people. I am at Skellig. I am at high fives every night. I, you're, you're on the ground. I'm on the ground, all right? And also, everyone, who loves this city more than I do? No, you're in no one. every weekend. I, I am on the ground at all time. I must run. Doing El Chapo's at Skellig. I don't do El Chapo's at Skellig anymore, but yes, exactly. Like, I'm telling you. So I think I'm a perfect candidate. Let me know if you guys have good advice. You can hook me up with the councilman, uh, woman. Honestly, I'm just, I would love to hear. I would love to hear more. But mainly I'm looking at the, the um, Henderson Street, that neighborhood. And you know, if you will, like Lower Greenville, Knox Henderson, like that kind of vibe, Henderson. That's what I'm looking for. Look at me being such a little multitasker. I know I vlog this a lot, but I go to Castle Nail over here at Mockingbird Station. I love this place. They're like the fastest I've ever used and I've gone to them for Honestly, since I moved here almost two years ago, isn't that crazy that I've lived back in Dallas for almost two years? Actually, two years in like three days. Um, but, anyways, they're really, really fast and I just love them. I had one nail catastrophe over here, but other than that, love. I just took the world's fastest shower and we are ready to go get a blowout. I'm gonna bring my laptop. I'm basically just 
working while I run errands today. So that is the plan. By the way, I'm wearing this, I'm wearing this sporty suit set from Set Active. Okay, so I got this one in a size small and it fits a lot better than the medium. I will say the torso is just really long on this. Like, I don't know if I just have a really short torso or what. Um, but anyways, I love it. It's so easy to just layer and throw on with things. I got the same coffee that I got yesterday, but they told me to add cinnamon. So I'll let you guys know. I'm back from my blowout. I'm gonna let it sit for a while before I really like comb through it. It is 3.30, I think we're starting Presley's birthday festivities at five, so I need to get ready really quickly, but I'm actually, at my appointment, I was working on the breadwinning housewife drops for this year. Obviously we have one, we have like three big drops this year, and then we might do like some mini drops if we wanna come out with certain things just throughout. I just had the best idea for our June drop for the summer, like I, could not be happier. I'm so excited. I'm feeling really good about it. I just now I'm so excited for that drop. I haven't even shot the January one yet, but I don't have everything yet. I have a little bit of work to do, and then it is the weekend, and we are ready to go. All right, I just got ready. Presley doesn't know that we're taking her to a Stars game tonight. She knows that there is a surprise, but she doesn't know what it is. This honestly isn't my favorite blowout ever. It's more of my fault. Like, I think I just don't know what I want when I get blowouts now, and... Maybe I, I always go for curls because I just feel like they last longer. Um, honestly, I got like a treatment in my hair. I just like the way that my hair feels so clean after a blowout. Love the experience, I get some stuff done, but um, maybe it's really the front pieces that I don't like. It's the rest of it is like perfect. So anyways, um, I did my makeup. This is just like my recent makeup routine. This puffer is from Lioness. The scarf is Amazon. Jeans are Princess Polly. Boots are Steve Madden. Bag is Balenciaga. Um, I'm gonna go downstairs, get some work done, and then I'm gonna leave and head off soon. We're going to Honor Bar for drinks and dinner, and then we're gonna go to the Stars game. I'm sure we'll probably go out after or something, but. If you guys follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you guys have probably already seen a reel of these nights, but we started off at Honor Bar. We surprised Presley with her little like golden ticket thing, so she found out that we were taking her to the Stars game which ended up being so fun. We are at Honor Bar quite literally almost every single Friday night. Like I am always there. Um, by the way, the little ticket thing was from Etsy. Our friend got it. Then we went to American Airlines to go to the Stars game. Unfortunately, we lost pretty bad. Got more margaritas. Always my Friday night drink of choice, that or a ranch water. Uh, we watched the game, we lost, I think it was like 5-0 or something like that. Uh, then we ended up going out with some friends, we went to Louis Louis, my favorite place to go out in all of Dallas. The next morning, I had a really chill morning, then I ran some errands for Presley's birthday party. So we had this cute little party, it was at Alice, and so fun, like a rented out room with a karaoke machine, bar, whatever, it was so fun. Yeah, then we sang happy birthday, went out, and that was my weekend. I have to diagnose somebody in order for them to sit in my chair. And so there were some executives that would wanna work with me, but they didn't struggle with the textbook depression, the textbook anxiety. They didn't struggle with that stuff. 